Hi everyone, welcome to day 22 of my 100 challenge. Today we'll be solving one of the SQL question asked in Google Data Analyst interview. So let's see the question. So the question is given a user activity table, write a SQL query to find all the users who have logged in on at least three consecutive day. We have the table here, you can see. We have the user ID, we have the login date. We need to find out those users who have logged in continuously three days, which is consecutive three days. That means without any break or without any leap continuously. So let's write query to solve this question. I have already created the table and inserted the data to solve this one. So let's go into PG admin four. Now here you can see I have already created the table and inserted the data. Let's see the data again. Now I can see we have the same user ID, which is here and we have their login date. Now, if you want to see the user ID one, the login date, first login date is 1st of August, which is 2024. The second login date is 2nd of August. So this continuously, this user has logged in for two days. We need to find out the user who has logged in for at least three days continuously. So this user has logged in for two days, but the second day this user logged in, that is fifth, right? So that means they stick a break here, right? And then another logged in for the same user that is on seventh. So this user has continuously only logged in for two days in this record. Now for two, you can see the two has logged in for 1st August, the 2nd August, 3rd August and 4th August. So that means this user has logged in for four days continuously, right? So this is the users that we are looking for. So same way we need to find out the users who has logged in continuously for three consecutive days. Now let's see how you should tackle this type of question. Whenever you get question like this, find out the customer who has purchased consecutively in every month or maybe in every day or every week. So this is how you'll be solving it. I'm going to use a window functions here and a simple CTE to solve this question. Okay. So I'm just going to select first of all the user ID. So user ID, my first column, then I'm going to select login date. So this two column I'm selecting. I'll have the same result here. Now I want to build a logic here using case statement here. So I'm going to say case and when. And I'm going to build a logic here. So let me end the case here and I'm just going to save it as n sticks. Okay. So case goes with else logic. So now I will put my logic here. I will use the logic here. Okay. So I'm going to say when login date equals. Now I want to build a logic here. I want to see that if this user has logged in the previous day. So the previous day, if you see here, this would be the previous day would be this, right? So one row above. Now here, the previous day would be the one row above, but unfortunately we do not have the previous day, but we have the previous record, correct? So I want to see here if the difference between current date and the previous date is one day. That is what I want to check here. So I'm going to say when this login date equals, now I'm going to use a window functions called leg to get the previous record. So the previous record on this login date, and I will need to use over here and I will do partitions by user because I want to find out for each user's ID and the previous record date. So partition by user ID and I need to do an order by login date ascending. Okay. So by default, it's going to be ascending. Okay. If this current date and the previous date plus one day here, I will say one day. Now I would say interval one interval one day okay so with the logic i'm building here i'm saying if the login date which is if this login date that means is the current date the current row date equals to the previous row so using the login date and this lag functions i'm getting the previous record date now i'm adding one day we're using this interval functions here so i'm saying the previous date which is the one row above date plus one day if they are equals like here if I just add with this one, if I just add one day, so it's going to be this, right? So here they will be equal. So then I want to give a value call uh, one. Okay. Else I want to give a value call zero. So this one, I want to call it stick. So let me run it and I will show you what I meant here. So let's see. I need to just check when this login date equals. Okay. I put two when here. So I will just delete one when. Let's kind of run it now. Okay, now you can see here, this user, which is user ID one has logged in on the 1st August and that has got stick as zero because no previous record found. Now this user ID, which has again the same user ID one, 
that user has logged in on the second day which is 2nd August but the previous day plus one day is going to be this day right so they both are equal that's the reason I'm giving it one now the second time it has logged in on fifth so the pre it's not matching with the previous day plus one day so it's getting zero so this is how it is working now if you see the user id 2 it has logged in on the 1st august so got zero because no previous date found now on the second day it has logged in on the 2nd august and this you can see it got the which is stick one and then this user again logged in on third so the previous record is going to be two and two plus one that means again three so that is got again one here it's fourth it has logged in again on the 4th august and the previous day was three so three plus one that is going to be four so that means it is again getting one so this user has logged in continuously from one two three four right so it has logged in more than three days so this is what we need now if you see this users which is three it has logged in for first second third right this is the also users i need now you can see here the same logic here okay so this is the same logic i have used now if you want to verify it user 4 has logged in on 2nd august so no previous record found so it got zero in this stick then it has directly logged in on 5th no again previous record plus one day equals to five so that's the reason it got zero and then it logged in for seven so again it got zero because the previous record plus one day is not equals to seven now i want to simply do a group by by this and then i want to simply uh, you know do a sum on this stick okay so that is how i will be able to find out the total stick so i want to select only the user who has continuously one 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 and uh, they have one for two times because see if the user has one for two times so that means they have logged in continuously three days because the first day you logged in you don't get one you get a zero the second day if you logged in then you get one again if you logged in for the third times you get again one so basically if a user has a two one that has logged in three days continuously okay so this is what we need to find out so i'm going to save it in a cte i'm just going to call it with and uh, stick table and i would just say s and i'm just going to put this query in this parenthesis now from this query i will simply select few of the things that i need so i'm going to say stick which is user id i need then i need the login date okay and i just need this sum which is this stick sum okay so i'm going to say sum on the stick and i'm going to use the sum window functions to find the running total for each users for the login dates so i'm going to say again partitions by so the same thing i'll be using it here so i would just copy paste from here so partitions by user id order by the login date in ascending and i'm just going to call it sticks okay now same name i can give or i think login sticks or i can say consecutive consecutive login okay so all these things i'm getting from my first table which is called stick table so i'm just going to say from stick table okay now if i just run this query i will have each user's id and their login date and uh, i will have this sum of the sticks so all this one is going to be plus together now for that i will just go ahead and run this query now let's see so this user id you can see the user id one has logged in on the first so got zero then it has logged in for second it got one now one thing you will see this user ha has logged in fifth on fifth but it got one so that means still here the stick remain the same which is one because why because this is not third okay then it has logged in on seven again the stick remains same which is one because this user only has logged in two days so one means you can say two days logged in together okay now if you see this user id two so first logged in that got stick a zero now the second day this user has logged in the stick become one and the third day it has logged in which is first second third and the stick got two two fourth day this user has logged in the stick is three so this user has logged in for fourth day and you see the stick has increased to three correct now so again this user has logged in another time but that is not on fifth but after a break so the stick become three only it has not changed to four okay now i can simply use a filter on this column to say that 
this config group login greater than equals to two that is how i will be select those users who has logged in continuously for two days okay now if you want to verify it for three also we can check so first day it has logged in on first august that got zero stick then it has logged in the second day got stick one then it has logged in on third day got a stick two and then it has directly logged in after a fourth day so that is on seventh so the stick remains same which is a two but still we will select this because this user has logged in three consecutive days you can see it here right so let's go ahead and kind of now simply use this to kind of uh, you know select the data now i'm going to again save this data in another cte so i'm going to say with now i don't have to say with to create one more cd i can simply give a comma after the first city and i can simply say the table name so this table name i want to just name it call stick two and i would say s and inside the parenthesis i can just put this query so this is fine now i will simply select from this stick to table i will select simply select the user id who has logged in this uh, sum is more than two okay more than equals to two so i can simply go ahead and select if you want to validate it i'm going to simply select everything for now okay and then i will select the user only so everything from stick to table where this consecutive login greater than equals to two okay so this is how i will filter out those users and their login dates where they have logged in more than two days con continuously okay so let's verify it so user id 2 you can see this user id has this stick okay now this user id 3 so two user id who has logged in for three days now you cannot see the day one here again because we have filtered by the stick 2 now if i just need only the user id so i will simply go ahead and say user id or i can say distinct user id so let's now run it okay now i can see we have user id 2 and user id 3 who has logged in continuously for three days consecutively for three days without any leave okay so if you want to verify it you can verify it here so user id 2 has logged in for first second and third so this user id has logged in continuously for three days but if you compare with one this has only logged in for two days then again after break and again after break it has logged in Similarly, if you want to check for three, it has logged in one, two, three continuously for three days. Then it took a break and then it has logged in on the seventh. Okay. Now fourth has logged in not continuously. You can see not continue, uh, not consecutively. So it has logged in for two, fifth and seven. So that means we are getting the right records. Now this same approach you can apply to any interview question where you are being asked to get the customer's ID who has purchased consecutively for two months or three months consecutively for two or three days. So you can use the same approach. That's it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching the video till the end. If you really like my content and if you really enjoy solving this type of problem, do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a good day. Take care. Bye bye.